a lot of folks have been asking about memes like this. If you're a Christian and you're big mad about the possibility of student loan debt being canceled, let me remind you that the entirety of your faith is built upon a debt you couldn't pay that someone stepped in and paid for you. In other words, Jesus died for our sins. I was asked by this uh, about this earlier by John Cooper uh, from Skillet and his podcast. When he asked me about it, I said, you're comparing apples to elephants. Okay, hang, hang on. First, Jesus died for the sins of the whole world. It was a debt that none of us could pay, ever. None of us could pay. When it comes to student loans, people pay off their student loans because they can, and that's what they sign up to, and that's a commitment they make. When it comes to our sins, that's a debt we could never pay. Plus, Jesus died for the sins of all humanity, not for some here and some there. All right, so that comparison breaks down as well. But, but here's the biggest thing. Jesus dies for our sins, offers us forgiveness freely, and then he purchases us. With his blood, he buys us. We belong to him. 1 Corinthians 6, you're bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. So with his blood, he forgives our sins and then purchases us so that we now live for him. We have been bought out of slavery at a price, and we now live to God and belong to God. What's that got to do with the government taking on more debt? This, the government does not have the money to do this. The government taking on more debt to pay for the loans of people who could ultimately, over a period of years, pay off their own loans. And who's going to pay for it in the end? You and me, the taxpayers. It's not just going to come out of nowhere. But let's carry this through a little bit further. Why student debt? I, I, I'm all for helping people however we can help, but why student debt? Why not start with medical debt? This is something people didn't ask for. Many of them, after insurance, were left with massive bills that are crushing them. Why not start with forgiving all medical debt across America? Why not start with that? And then all of you who are business owners, right? You have companies that you work with. You owe them. They owe you money. Why not forgive all debt? All of you who are advocating this, you should forgive all debt. If you have a business, forgive everyone that owes you any money, any, any personal debt you should forgive. This is social madness, and this has nothing to do with Jesus dying on the cross. You say, well, well hang on. What about the fact that Jesus taught that, that we should lend expecting nothing back? Yes, this was contrary to a Jewish custom that developed at that, at that time, because every seventh year, loans were forgiven. So let's say you make a loan in the sixth year, and you calculate, wait, I'm not going to get my money back. I'm not going to make the loan. So Rabbi Hillel came up with something called the pros bowl. It was a document before the court that said, I'm going to give this loan, but the person owes it to the court, not to me. So it would not be nullified in the seventh year. This way, the rich would keep loaning money and the poor would keep getting their money. It was a practical solution. Jesus is saying, step higher. And, and all of us have done that. Most of us have done that. We've loaned money to a brother or sister. They're unable to pay it back. We say, hey, God bless. We forgive you. You don't owe us anything. That's the spirit when people are able to do that, to do that. Should we look at the question of should schools be government subsidized? Is tuition too high? Those are questions that we can ask and discuss. But Jesus did not teach socialism and Marxism that says, I'm going to take money from you and give it to another person to guarantee some type of equal outcome. No, that's got nothing to do with the teaching of Jesus. So think of this again. Jesus paid a debt that none of us could ever pay. Student loans have been repaid for decades by students, and that's what they signed up for knowingly. Jesus didn't say, well, you needed a little bit more. I'm going to die for you. You don't need it quite as much. I'm not going to die for you. No, this was indiscriminate for all. And the forgiveness of these student loans is not indiscriminate for all. Plus, after he died for us, we now belong to him. So that analogy doesn't work here. Plus, he paid out of his own abundance as the perfect righteous son of God, the word made flesh. The government doesn't have this money. So to, because the schools need this money to operate, that means the government has to go into further debt to make this happen at your expense. So please don't throw around these silly, cheap memes to, to make it look as if people who have a question about the, the rightness of these student loans being canceled, as if somehow they were being unchristian. Quite the contrary. This is a misuse 
of the gospel. Hey, friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, click on one of the boxes on the screen, check out another one of our videos, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. You know, we discovered that about 60% of you that are watching our videos aren't subscribers, so subscribe today. Doesn't cost you a dime. And if you want to support our work, Line of Fire, and all the things that we do, follow one of the links on the screen below.